Hey guys, Megan here, and time for another video. So, I know I didn't do a little update thing last month because honestly, I hadn't read that many books compared to other months. Mostly because I went to End My Boston in March. So, that took a whole week off of my reading easily. So, whoops. But this month has been so much better. I've read nine books, and technically, I'm filming this in April, so within the next few days I should be able to finish and add a tenth book to that list. So, but right now I'm just going to say nine. I am three books behind on my 2004 reading challenge, which all honesty is not that bad, considering back in March I was five or six books behind at any given time. So I'm starting to really catch up there, so yes, I'm getting back on track. So, very good there. And, so yeah, that's my reading challenge update. So now to do my May TBR. So, before I never really made a TBR jar because most of my books I got through the library. So I couldn't really reliably do TBR related things with that since, you know, if something has a lot of holds on it, I'm not going to get it that month. But... I have a fair amount of books on my bookshelf that need to be read, as well as books that I am planning to buy in the future and am willing to get from the library. So now I feel it's more evened out. So I went ahead and made a little TBR jar. I kind of wish I had something a little bigger, considering I managed to cram over 200 book titles into this little thing. It is literally stuffed. It's like almost overflowing. So holy crap that is pretty damn intimidating and not all the books on my to read list on Goodreads aren't even in here. There are I'd say about somewhere between 20 and 40 titles that aren't in here only because I stopped putting sequels names into here, if only so I would have room for everything else. So, holy crap, that is a lot. So, the way I've decided to do this is, until I get all the to-read books on my bookshelf read, what at the beginning of each month, I'm going to pick one or two titles from this, just to try and narrow it down a bit more. And I have a rough idea what I want to read this month. I want to finish the Mortal Instruments and Infernal Devices series. As of this video, I have read Clockwork Angel. And I am currently reading The City of Fallen Angels. So I hope to get City of Lost Souls as well as Clockwork Prince and Princess read by the end of this month. So that I am all caught up for when City of Heavenly Fire comes out. So I want to read do that. I also want to read The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. I have that up on my bookshelf and I want to read it before the movie comes out just because I am like that. So I want to get that done ahead of time. I also want to get a few more books into the Women of the Otherworld series. I had read Haunted which is book five in the series. I had to think there <laughs> earlier in the month. And I've bought all the other books in the series, so I now have a complete series for that. So, I'm not... I doubt I'm going to finish the series this month, just because I have so many other things i got to read. But, I wouldn't mind getting another book or two into the series. And I also really, really need to finish the Divergent series. I just haven't had a chance to pick up Insurgent yet. I have both the other books in on my bookshelf, so they are going to be read, but I just haven't had time because I want to finish up the Pendragon series and so many other things, so I haven't had a chance to pick that up, so I wouldn't mind at least getting Insurgent done this month. I have very, very high hopes, especially since school is ending this month. I should have much more time. Sure. I'll probably be getting quite a few more hours at work, but I I have high hopes that I will have more time to read as well. So, yeah. 
So, without further ado, I'm picking two names from this jar. I have quite a few sequel names in here, so in that case, I would just obviously start at the beginning of the series. No sense in starting in the middle of the series. That would be kind of silly. See if I can get a name that isn't on the top. And no, come back. There's one. Put that up there. And the names are falling out. I'm not drawing. There's another. So for a lot of these titles, I cannot remember what they are about off the top of my head. All I know is I was looking on, you know, different book sites and just picking anything that looks semi interesting to me and added it to my to read list. So, I'm not going to remember what all these are about. And I'm definitely going to be pronouncing some author names wrong. So, first book is... Yes, I was hoping for... Alright. Looks like I am going to be reading Obsidian by Jennifer L. Armentrout. So I'm, I'm actually really excited for this one because I've seen quite a few people like saying lots of good things about this series. So I'm looking forward to this. And Nightshade by Andrea Kramer. I remember reading this book like ages ago, like when it first came out, but that was quite a while ago, or at least it feels like a while ago. So I'm gonna look. I'm looking forward to reading it again. Especially since I've heard that there is a prequel series and it looks like a sequel series. So, gotta refresh my memory for those. So, yes! That is for my little update in my TBR for May. So, yeah, it's gonna be a really awesome month. So, yeah! I'll see you guys next time. And, yeah! Goodbye!